Waits Glacier in Antarctica adds about 4% to sea level rise every year as it melts. The ice loss of the glacier has doubled in the last 30 years, and some scientists are thinking that it could run out, uh, run out of control, I should say, and raise sea levels by two feet over the next 100 years. Meteorologist Sean Stiles takes a look at the research that's being done in this Earth 8 report. Feel the effects of climate change, the oceans are absorbing most of the heat, and two places on the planet that are feeling it the most are the poles. In the Antarctic, the Thwaites Glacier is threatened the most. We also have satellites that flow overhead, some things that, that using magnetism can tell size of mass. Dr. Pat Abbott is a mass. professor of geology so emeritus at San Diego and State and University, and he says this is extremely important when it comes to the Thwaites Glacier in Antarctica. And the ocean water there is still cold, 34 degrees, 35 degrees, but that's warmer than the ice. Therefore, it's accelerating the melting of the ice that's floating on top of the oceans. The ice on the ocean surface is over 2,000 feet thick and is what is holding the Thwaites Glacier back from flowing into the ocean. Think of it like a dike or a dam. The hundreds of foot thickness of ice floating there uh, uh, against the glacier on land helps make the glacier stay on land. If you take that ice off, then there's nothing to hold the glacier on land that flows downhill into the ocean. With the ice sheet gone, the melting rate could run out of control, which is why it's called the Doomsday Glacier, and that has scientists concerned. As we're worried about a runaway melting. It's a possible glacier that could run out of control, and within a century could raise sea level as much as two feet. Because the ice sheet is not near a landmass, researchers have taken extraordinary steps to get more data. On the western edge of Antarctica lies the Thwaites Glacier. Now the Thwaites Glacier is one of the largest in the world, and as the ice flows off the continent into the ocean, it's actually melting because the ocean water temperatures are warmer than normal. Scientists are concerned that this actually might make that ice shelf collapse, so they're doing some research. They're taking planes and flying them over the top to measure the thickness of the ice. They're also taking a hot water drill, cutting down through the ice itself, taking samples as they went through, and then on top of all of that, they're taking a robotic submarine to send it down through and take a look at the glacier from underneath. They've gone out onto the floating ice shelf, used hot water to bore a hole 2,000 feet down to get through 2,000 feet thickness of floating ice to see the water underneath. That allowed researchers to deploy a robot, IceFit, to get a look at the glacier and get instant feedback. They found the water under the glacier is fresh, which is colder than seawater. That's good. The problem is that it's flowing from under the glacier from land. You, know, you tend to think of the bottom of the floating ice shelf as being a flat surface. Well, there's areas where it has a micro topography. That means there's more surface area, more seawater in contact with that, and some of those areas are melting six times faster than the other. The takeaways from the latest research, topography under the ice sheet, not good. Fresh water melting under the glacier, not good. The good news is most of the ice sheet has fresh water under it, which is slowing the melting. Maybe our worst case scenario is worse than reality. Maybe it actually is not as bad as we fear it could be. And with more data coming in from researchers in the Antarctic, that will give them the tools they need to make the right decisions in the future. Sean Stiles, Earth 8.